Sana eight, Kikuda. This is his third time in karate, but early days of karate. Agakura, 183 cm, 91 kg. Alexander Otsuka! Alexander Otsuka. In his corner, he's got Larry, Curly, and Mo, and he's going to really need their wisdom in this fight against Kakuda. I, you know, I, there is one thing, Stephen, I want to say. Um, if he comes out to make it a street fight, that could be dangerous for him because if he comes out with anger, anger, anger can disturb the fighting technique. Sometimes it's not good to be anger. Control anger. A very famous man used to say that was Bruce Lee. Controlled anger, but if you just go out, blaze. Oh, oh, yeah. I knew it. No shaking. Yeah. Oh, he gave, he dissed him. He dissed him right there. Offered his hand and pulled it back. Here it is, the grudge match. Atsuka, that man right there, said he has no respect for Kakuda. Kakuda coming out, going for the lock. And Kakuda trying to trip Atsuka. If he goes to the ground, it's going to favor Sanai and Kakuda. Yeah, it depends also who's going to be on top. Of course, because Alexander got some good knees from the mind, from the sideboard. Look at this, our good knees too. Man, the crowd is totally into this. A <laughs> grudge match. I feel like I'm in Thailand. Listen to that. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, who's going to get the takedown? Oh! And there it is. Kakuda gets the takedown on top of Atsuka. Atsuka with the close guard. I, I think it's a matter of time here. But... One thing is for sure, Kakuda is sort of like the Japanese Jeremy Horn in that he takes his time when he fights. Whereas Asuka will try things and maybe even make mistakes, but I don't. <laughs> Look at this. He's patting him. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly like you said. You know, the good thing about the five rules also is the, the, the first 10 minutes round, because so you can't take your time. Of course, you have to move because otherwise the referee puts you up back on your feet again. But as long as you keep moving, you can set everything up. So for somebody who's real good at submissions and keeps busy, that is a perfect rule right there. And leg lock, he's, he's going to go for a leg lock, which would be a very smart thing to do because Alexander Otsuka is wearing shoes. Well, Kakuda uh, is well known for his loss to Henzo Gracie way back and that was in 1998 and it was a, a a match that almost went an hour it was a 50 minute match well oh he's got the foul position you don't want to push you don't want to stretch your arms here with a guy like you can count this is bad because kukuri's going to go for an arm he's going to play with him for a while try and smother him there we go but if, Hendra Gracie did also an arm bar on uh, Alexander Otsuka and Otsuka escaped, remember? So yeah. I don't know if it's a good, a good thing to do to go for a straight arm bar. Can you lose position? Well, but I guess the point is this. They both had uh, a common opponent in Hendra Gracie. Kakuda lost by submission after 50 minutes. Otsuka lost a decision. Now, Kakuda claims that he is twice the fighter he was when he fought Henzo back in 1998. And it looks like he is because there's a lot more action. He looks very relaxed on the ground here. Very good in control. Like it's easy for him to stay in his control. Uh, he is the 2002, and that's uh, this year, Abu Dhabi Submission Wrestling Champion. He, uh, he feels that the Abu Dhabi Champions don't necessarily uh, become champions in mixed martial arts. And there's a variety of reasons. Uh, that he mentioned to us. But what can Otsuka do here, boss? Nothing. He's got a buck and he's got to go for a cut. Now we have the arm bar. This is he, not he's going to give up position, you see? Yeah, he gave Otsuka up. should roll through. No. Well, yeah, Otsuka's got to escape the mount. As soon as um, Kikuda sits up, he can escape the mount position. Pretty easy, if you want. Okay, Kikuda going for... Uh, He's going to try for side control, and he's going to probably spin around. Oh, what's... Uh, no. Oh. Atsuka was almost in a position to do his own arm bar, it's but... going to be a leg look like No. Whoa. Kick to the head instead. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Now we're talking Atsuka on top. 
And if he's going to get pull that leg out, he's going to drop the knees like he did with Marco Ruas. We've got six minutes left. I don't know if you folks at home can hear the cheering, but they were chanting Alexander. And it was like deafening. Yeah, not a good oh, beautiful reversal by the book and going for the sideman. Knee is perfectly high up. Yeah, he's got the knee on belly position. He's going to go for mount again, it looks like. He's in half guard now. <laughs> there was <laughs> what was that move? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how you call it. How you call it? What would you call it? I would call that the reverse fly swat. <laughs> how can you come up with it? Uh, it's real simple. It's like when we were in St. Petersburg, Russia, commentating. <laughs> and Suliev had the north-south position, then he got the mount from the same position. You figure it out. I got it. Mount again. Now it's going to be dangerous. He's got a high mount. It's more difficult to, to buck that one off. And it, Atsuka cannot turn his back here. It is a high mount. Kikuda locking up the hands. And Atsuka turning. Kikuda got his back now. He's got the hooks in, but he's a little off to the side, boss. Yep. He, he looks like he wants to set him up for an armbar. Let, let, let him kick it to no, a he's, choke he's and then go for an arm. Yeah, he, but Atsuka firing back. Now, what move is this, boss? There's the back slap to the head. This is the, I'm turning right. No, it's a back fist. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm turning right. <laughs> what movie? Any which way you can. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Was right it? turn, Clyde. Mount again. Full mount again. But he hasn't been able to do much with the full mount. He hasn't landed. Okay, there was a good left hand, but he's going to go for armbar now, I think. Yeah, he's grounding away, and this is the technique. Yes, he's going to go for an armbar now. Otsuka spinning again. It was very smart. He was very close to get into an armbar. Otsuka's uh, got some kind of a, a knot on his head. <laughs> yeah. It looks like some, that it looked like some alien st stuck a stethoscope inside of his brain or something programmed for the fight. Experiment with him. The light that beamed him up. Yes, well, better don't make a mistake now because this is a total setup for a choke. But also we can go for an armbar here. Well, that was actually the armbar that Hanzo did on the... Uh, Atsuka. Atsuka oh, no. taking a chance. Now Atsuka in a bad position here. Okay, we've got three minutes left. Atsuka is a mess right here. Look at that head. It's getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. On top of a skull. Maybe it's a secret weapon. Going to pop out. It's gonna, oh, Bell. Oh, that looked like he headbutted him. Backwards. Well, it hasn't been going too good for Alexander Atsuka, has it? No. It has. Kukuda uh, has been in control the whole fight now. Um, he, sh he should um, strike harder on the ground. That will, that with a, a guy with control like he could not, if he can really he's strike. He's, he's got him on side, side, choke. side choke right here. He's got him. No, he's not going to get No, maybe no, he's, he's going to get him. No, no, he's out. Yeah, but arm uh, bar. Okay, no. Yeah, still. But not the other arm, it looks like. Wow. Well, at the least, Atsuka is taking a beating here. Yeah, there's an armbar coming up. For sure, he's going to go for it. It's got, it's got to be. But I, I can understand that he cannot escape the mount position. Well, he's trying. Yeah, but it's not the way you have to do it. You know, you got to turn on your side, push the knee. You know, there's a good way to do it. Kokoda going for... A key lock from the mount. And he's gonna he's gonna set up the arm bar here. Yep, there you go, boss. There it is, there it is. That's it. He's got it. Yeah, All he needs to do is break it loose and extend it. He's gonna use some energy here, but Oscar trying to kick his way out. Oscar he's got it. No, he's yeah. got all of his pride involved, and he won't let go. No, but and it, oh, he's, he's gonna, gonna get out. Gonna get out he's of it. Out. 
Beautiful! That's and he's got the control! It's deafening in here. The crowd is going ballistic. Our sold out crowd is going insane because of that escape. And Atsuka on top. Kakuda getting ready for a sweep here. Yeah, Atsuka got to work here now. He's got not a lot of time left. If he really wants to do some damage, he's got to go try to go to the side on the knees, right knees down, or do this. But then the position, hit the jaw. Because otherwise he's going to go to round two. Yeah, it's going to go to round two. It doesn't look like... Or it's going to be... Oh, <laughs> but to the solar plexus. That's not good. Maybe that's how he got that lump on his head. When he did it backwards. Yeah, how did... I, I don't know, but I saw it one time before. The fight against Franco Sikapi. Yeah, somebody. Yeah, but he he, he got he, he got he shin kicked some guy. But in this fight, that's good, man. I mean, he was he was on top. But yikes, he's a mess. I tell you, that bump on his head. You know, he's really got to change his pillows. I think. That's one thing for sure. <laughs> You have special pillows for that. Look Hem at that. Hempur you know, or something, uh, they call it. Maybe some, uh, maybe get something to drain it like they do with Rocky. Cut me! Cut me, Cut Mick. me! Cut me! <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, look at this. <laughs> Kakuda all over him. Oh, you see that was very close to that arm bar, straight arm bar there. Kakuda, Kakuda, and there, we go. there, there goes with the arm bar. When Kakuda um, mounts him, you should aim for that big zit and just try and see if we can to pop it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And man, I can't believe that Oscar didn't get off guard right here. He pulls it out perfectly. Wow. And the side mount. Yep, one thing we can say for sure, Officer Guy, and we knew that before, is an escape artist. Man, oh man, oh man, it's been a wild night, and this fight has been no exception. We got the grudge match. The Atsuka wanted to turn it into a street fight, but Atsuka looking like he's been in a street fight. Yeah, but there's no quitting in his personality. He will fight till the end. Because he's got all that pride now, which you took with him in the ring by saying all these things and by hitting the hand away from Shikuta in the beginning of the fight. So he's got to go now. There's no stopping for him. No option. Yeah, but I'll tell you one thing. Kikuda has been in complete control of this fight, except for that little reversal. But Atsuka didn't really land any significant shots once he did re the reversal. Yeah, that's true. Atsuka looked like he just snuck through a barbed wire fence. Go! And Kikuda getting a top lock up there, double overhook. Oops. Whoa, oh, that was a low blow. Yeah, that was a low blow. Now he keeps going. Well, so much for the completeness. Uh, Kakuda gets the trip takedown into the guard of Atsuka. Uh, uh, Atsuka going up high for a, either a triangle or an armbar, but he doesn't really have anything. Yeah, and you don't want to do that because then he can pass the guard. And mount or... Hmm. This is an interesting position. Grab the feet. That's what I just wanted to say. He could flip him and mount him. He can try. Yeah, but Kakuda's too experienced for that. Yeah, I think so too. But uh, still, Kakuda. If you don't shoot, you always miss. Kakuda has fought in just about every major martial arts organization there is. He fought in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. He fought in Shudo. He fought in Pancrase. And this is his third time in Pride. This guy's bounced around quite a bit. Yeah, so it. Uh, yeah. But I don't think he's going to get submitted. He's going to go for leg lock. Oh, no. It was beautiful. Oh, there's Pass. the... Uh, he, Atsuka has got to block that knee like he just did. Yeah. I can't believe they let him out with a big thing in his nose. Me neither, but if he takes a few more shots, they're going to fill up. They're out of nose hole, too. But that's not 
very that doesn't come in handy with the mouthpiece and your nose filled. See it, see it, see it. Like the movie of Fish Gold Rondo with the French fries. Yeah. I just read your mind. Takuda mounted on top of him. Takuda spent four years at the Japan Physical Education University and uh, it's interesting because Kakuda started at the age of seven years old in judo and practiced judo. Um, actually, no, he started when he was 13 years old and he practiced for seven years. And uh, Kakuda was on the uh, Team Japan uh, Championship. He was, was, was a team member of the... Uh, uh, his team won the Japanese team competition of judo. Wow. Yeah, judo, as you know, it's, it's, it's very high here. The level is very high here in Japan. Uh, could, uh, I, my instruction would be, listen, you've been the first round in mount, everything in mount, maybe you should try to go to the and try something there. Because till now, we have been unaffected. He's trying to go all the time for the side choke, uh, which isn't working. But um, if you really want to go for submissions, Look at this. Yeah, he almost gave him the armbar there, and now he's giving him his back. Yep. And then we got the back hand again. Yeah. The right turn. Right. Right. right turn. Two minutes. Yeah, he better not make a mistake. Uh, although he doesn't have his hips locked all the way for Otsuka's hips, he's got only one hook in, so Otsuka can turn to the right right now and get out of it, which is something that I would do if I was him. But it's been all Kikuda. Yep, he's been all over him. He is delivering the punishment. And Atsuka has been taking it, but Atsuka just mm -hmm. won't quit. Well, we, we know that. Well, if you go to distance with Iko from Chanjin, and uh, you are meant a strong person. Atsuka has got to do something. I mean, he, he can't just sit there. I mean, he's, gonna, he's not going to stop with those shots. But Kikuda should hit, try to hit the wound there or something. No, that, I think that the referee should say, do something here. Yeah. If nobody answers, if he doesn't defend it, then uh, I, I don't think that's good. No. Okay, there are no power shots, so there's not a lot of uh, real damage involved, but still, you know, uh, do something. Atsuka just has not been competitive in this match against Kikuda. No. He just doesn't have any answers. You can't just win a fight on heart. You need skill. I mean, we heard the rhetoric about the street fight, and we've got 30 seconds left, and, and Atsuka, for the oh, he's going for it, but he, Atsuka's got the chin down. But still he can smother him because he's oh, he, very tired. Yeah, he's got the, he's got position, boss. Yeah, and oh, he's, he's gonna, oh, and, he's got it maybe. And you know what, Is it under? the bell might ring here. Left to the right. No, Asuka, he's, he's out of he's out of position. He doesn't have it around the net. Yep. That's true. No. Oh, quick okay. Ah, uh, that was round number two. Let's go into the third round. It's gonna get better and better now for Kikuta. He yeah, stands up more energetic than he did in the first round. And worse and worse for Alexander Asuka. Oh, yeah. If he can get up. Look at those cuts. These are, these are the weirdest. Because I've ever seen, it's almost like Hellraiser. <laughs> <laughs> you are on tonight, Basito. Atska doesn't look good. No, he doesn't. This match. And it's another one-sided round for Kikuda. Just laying it on Atska. And Atska doing nothing. Um, fortunately, these shots, there's not, you can't really stop a guy with those shots, but they're, they're more than irritating. And then he's massaging his, what are we going to call that? What is that? A, a, a lump. It's, uh, if, it, it's, if it's going to slide down, it's going to the hunch, the hunch back of Tokyo. <laughs> That's true. We'll call, um, we'll call him Quasi Moto. Quasi Tsutka, Otsuka. No, um, Otsuka is going to be in big problems in round number three uh, because it didn't look good for him in round number two. Um, <laughs> he right there, Kikuda, sees how tired Otsuka is and like in the last fight with Murilo Ninja against Mario Spare, that's going to give him wings. It's 
going to be more energetic. If I would have been uh, Kikuda and I got Alexander's back, I would stand up and start kicking to the head, which is allowed in the pride. And has more success than those punches that he's giving from the back. And here we've got two more guys that are right in that middleweight category. Um, Okay, Alexander Atska was checked by a ringside doctor and he looks good to go for round number three. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Does he have two? Oh, that, that took. Nice left hook. Oh, oh in the groin. That was straight up the middle. Yeah. Hey, he doesn't have a lot of control. He's getting a warning from the referee. Um, that is not legal to knee to the groin in the Pride Fighting Championships. Yeah, I, I, I don't. The referee should do something about that. That continues because Atska seems to be desperate here. Yeah, it's like he's aiming for it. He still got a good takedown defense, though. Oh, but this is an edible to take down, and yeah. there it is. And this is not good for Atska. Atska is probably going to get another pounding here. But Kikuda has just fallen short with the submission so far. Yeah, he will go to the mound again and then do the same thing. He should um, you know, really try something different if he wants to finish the fight, I think. At 34 years of age, Kikuda is four years older than Alexander Atska. But I don't think that's going to be a factor here. No, I don't think so either. At 34, I would have never. I, I, I thought he was in the 25, if you look at him. He doesn't look 34. Yeah, that's a, that's really a big surprise for me. If he was a young gun. Not to say that he's old, because he's not. Because at 37, you're still not old. Well, these guys are in that uh, infamous middleweight division. Boss, what is your assessment uh, of the middleweight division, and how would El Wapo do in the middleweight division? I don't know, but he, he, would, he would shine uh, at least his, his beautiful shaved head and um, look good. That's one thing for sure. Um, in fighting, he's training every day. He's doing a good job. He feels uh, good and strong. So, uh, let's see where that uh, is going to bring El Wapo. That was a short stiff left hand right? the job. Uh, Alexander is waving his arms. Could be a setup, you know, for please take my arm, go for an arm bar so I can get on top. Yeah, this is what Kikuta should do. Yeah. Side mount, try it out something different. There we go, see? Now he wants to finish the fight. Need to the body there, which uh, conveniently is located there, the liver. <laughs> Bang! That's another drink right there at home. Yeah. It's right there. That's the liver boss. Hey, oh. We got the mount. Kikuta, which we have seen. Okay, now maybe now he's going to go off. See, Alexander should bridge now and bump him off, but he is very tired. Exhausted. It was a good hand. Good and another one. Boss, we ate sushi last night, but they had liver on the menu for sushi. How come you didn't try it? <laughs> I don't know, but the, mo the thing that scared me the most was the anger, anger eel filet or something. Wow. The word anger and food doesn't really go good with me. No, armbar coming, armbar, there he is. And this is it, that's it, he's got him. He's got a tap. You, you, you give up? <laughs> yeah, he's got it, he's gonna get it, he's got it. He, I think he, uh, Alexander should tap. He should not take a risk and break his arm. Kikuda is in position. He should start rolling now, Alexander should start rolling. Make a fist, twist his arm to the right, and then try to roll out. It will be his only way. I can't see from here where that was. Is this the same referee that refereed Alex Stevens? He's gonna, Alex whoa, he's going to get out. He's going to get out. He's pushing the hands up. Unbelievable. He should hook his legs. He's whoa, look at this. He's going to go for a triangle now. Not anymore. I can't believe look at this. he has... Oh! Look at this. If he gets out of this, 
Man, this is, this is not going to speak well about the finishing capability of Kakuda. He could escape right now. Oh, oh there it looks. Oh, right. he's getting out! Oh, my Very Lord. Good. That was sheer guts. He just didn't want to tap. He just wouldn't tap. tap. That, that, he said, okay, that's it. I don't care. Break my arm. I don't care. Got to get on the hat again. He's trying to get under his dandruff, I guess. <laughs> that's it. That's shoulders, baby. Yeah, but I don't see any dandruff. Look at this. What's this? He's, oh, he's tapping out. They call it the... He's, 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 the referee's going, wait a minute. Is this guy tapping out? What's, what's this guy doing? And this guy's... He's trying to get the food to rattle, but it's too late. It's too late. Getting him rattled... It's, uh, if anything, Atsuka saved face in that he didn't get stopped in this yep. fight. But he got smoked in every other way. What? Okay, the only victory is that he went the distance. Now, the question is, will they shake hands after the fight? Yeah. I probably... I, uh... Well, that was total domination by Kikuta. I think so. If Kikuta wants to be a nice guy now, and he wants to gain a little bit more respect for the audience, well, he's tapping now. Okay, yeah. yeah. Where's the referee? Oh. Me water. Okay, now here it is. He's going for the arm bar. And it's, it looks pretty textbook. What do you think, Bob? I uh, could have, should have uh, hooked his legs right there. His feet. And um, squeeze his knees together. It, yeah, it, you watch the arm. Stretch the arm. Uh, Extend it the other way. That's an arm. And he didn't do that. Well. Now, let's see. That's not uh, any different from the way we saw it, boss. No, it, it, it's no big surprise. No, it's no surprise. Uh, Atsuka just wasn't competitive. Okay, they, they're going to make up. Okay. They're going to make up, I think. Okay. Oh, uh, no. No, oh, come on, man. Oh, come on, man. That's no good. Oh, that's not good. I guess. I mean, that's a deep anchor right there. I don't know. Why, why do you? 